Available now. Link below. In a world where truth is under constant attack, one man stands tall amidst the media's shameless manipulation, Donald J. Trump. As the battle for the soul of our nation rages on, the former president finds himself once again in the crosshairs of a media machine bent on twisting his every word. But the truth will not be silenced. In this special report, we'll expose the lies sold to the American people from the auto industry's struggles to the Biden campaign's accusations. We'll leave no stone unturned in our quest for the truth, revealing why the media and their relentless attacks on Trump are a desperate attempt to maintain power. The evidence speaks for itself, my friends, but don't take my word for it. Stick around for my final thought because you don't want to miss it. Now, before we dive into the media's shameless manipulation of Trump's words, let's talk about honesty and accountability. Just like how we need to hold the media accountable for their lives, we also need to take responsibility for our health, and that's where Get the Tea comes in. The Life Change Tea helps cleanse your body every day, just like how we need to cleanse our news from misinformation. They offer unique supplements that you won't find on store shelves, like their newest Calm Tummy, designed to regulate your health, something that the media could learn from. Visit GetTheTea.com and use code NEXTNEWS for an extra 10% off. Don't let your health fall victim to neglect, like the truth in the media. That's GetTheTea.com. Now, in a world of media manipulation and blatant lies, we find ourselves desperately in need of a hero and a beacon of accountability. Enter Donald J. Trump, a man who has never shied away from speaking the truth, even when it's controversial. Now, he recently warned of a potential bloodbath in the auto industry if he isn't reelected in 2024. But instead of reporting on the context of his statement, left-wing media outlets wasted no time twisting his words, portraying them as a call for civil unrest. The truth is, Trump was speaking about the dire consequences American auto workers could face under the wrong leadership. He was addressing the issue of Chinese-owned companies building cars in Mexico to avoid U.S. tariffs, a move that would undoubtedly hurt American jobs. Now let's take a look at Trump's speech in its full context. Mexico has taken over a period of 30 years, 34% of the automobile manufacturing business in our country. Think of it, went to Mexico. China now is building a couple of massive plants where they're gonna build the cars in Mexico and think, they think, that they're going to sell those cars into the United States with no tax at the border. Let me tell you something to China. If you're listening, President Xi, and you and I are friends, but he understands the way I deal, those big monster car manufacturing plants that you're building in Mexico right now, and you think you're going to get that, you're going to not hire Americans, and you're going to sell the cars to us now, we're going to put a 100% tariff on every single car that comes across the line and you're not going to be able to sell those guys if I get elected. Now, if I don't get elected, it's going to be a bloodbath for the whole. That's going to be the least of it. It's going to be a bloodbath for the country. That'll be the least of it. But they're not going to sell those cars. They're building massive factories. A friend of mine. So as you can see, Trump wasn't advocating for violence. He was simply warning about the economic impact on the auto industry. But that didn't stop the media from running with their false narrative. Even the Biden-Harris campaign and Democrat leaders continue to spread misinformation about Trump's words, despite knowing the truth. In a stunning display of hypocrisy, Biden's campaign communications director, Michael Tyler, appeared on MSNBC with Jen Psaki to accuse Trump of endorsing political violence. Tyler claimed that Trump's bloodbath comment was just another example of his alleged support for the events of January 6th. Watch. What I heard was a continuation of the same rhetoric, the same endorsement of political violence that we've seen from Donald Trump for years, as you pointed out. It goes even farther back, right? This is the same guy who, after Nazis marched on Charlottesville and killed a woman, said there were very fine people on both sides. This is the same guy who, in 2020, told the Proud Boys, a white supremacist group, to stand back and stand by. And now, every single day on the stump, he is championing and praising the insurrectionists uh, who he encouraged to violently storm the Capitol in an attempt to overthrow our democracy. Uh, so it's not simply one comment. This is exactly who Donald Trump is, and this is exactly the threat that he poses to our democracy every single day. I think the problem for Trump, though, is that the American people saw what happened on January 6th, and they've responded consistently since, right? We, they responded in 2022, when Democrats had the most successful midterm cycle uh, for a Democratic incumbent since FDR. They continued to respond last year and stay 
states like Kentucky, Ohio, and Virginia in the fall elections then, and they're continuing to respond right now. That's why we're on our front foot heading into this general election, because the American people fundamentally understand, A, what Joe Biden has done to fight on behalf of the American people over the course of the last three years, but they see every single day now uh, the threat that Donald Trump poses if he's able to regain power. He is talking every single day about tearing down the fabric of our democracy and enacting political revenge if he's able to serve on a dictator on day one as he is promising to do. But amidst the media's feeding frenzy, one voice of reason emerged. Elon Musk, the billionaire entrepreneur, called out MSNBC host Joe Scarborough for his dishonest tweet about Trump's comment. Musk's intervention led to Scarborough deleting his post, a clear acknowledgement of his wrongdoing. You can see January 6th was not a bloodbath by any definition, and Trump was referring to job losses in the auto industry when he used that word. Your post is extremely misleading. And he didn't stop there. He went on to post a meme that perfectly encapsulated the entire situation, highlighting how easy it is to spot those who don't think for themselves and simply parrot the media's false narratives. Now, the media's selective reporting and lack of context in their coverage of Trump's bloodbath comment is a prime example why so many Americans have lost trust in mainstream news outlets. It's not just about disagreeing with Trump's policies or his communication style. It's about the deliberate effort to mislead the public and paint him in the worst possible light. If you got value from this report, tap subscribe. My final thought is next. The media's shameless manipulation of Donald Trump's words is a stark reminder of the challenges we face in our pursuit of truth. When news outlets prioritize their own agendas over factual reporting, it's not just Trump who suffers, it's the entire nation. We deserve better than this. We deserve a media that upholds the principles of honesty, integrity, and accountability. As we move forward, let us demand more from those who claim to inform us. Let us support the voices of reason like Elon Musk, who are willing to stand up against a tide of misinformation. And most importantly, let us never forget that the truth, no matter how inconvenient it may be for some, must always prevail. Only then can we hope to build a stronger and more united America. Congratulations, you made it to the end of the video. Now keep up your quest for truth with this next news report. And if you found our channel enlightening, join the millions who agree with you. Tap subscribe. Thank you for watching the Next News Network.